It all began with the idea of retrofit. So in this case, we're demonstrating how you would retrofit an Australian fibro house. We feel that that is the way to go forward because of all the current building stock we already have. Currently we have 8 million homes existing in Australia. They make up 13% of our carbon dioxide emissions. Going forward, if we want to reduce those, we need to retrofit those existing homes. Team UOW has designed the Illawarra Flame for a couple nearing retirement and looking to downsize. So the original fibro home was a three bedroom house of approximately 80 square metres. We've removed one of those bedrooms and converted that into an open living and dining area. We've introduced bifold doors and bifold windows to open the entire house up to nature. Raked roofs that just increase the feel and warmth of the home. We use environmentally friendly materials throughout. We've recycled over two kilometres of hardwood from old fibro houses. A key aspect of all building design is correct orientation and passive design. So the Illawarra Flame's been uh, designed to face the sun, so in Australia the north, in China to face the south. And our eaves and shading have been designed such that we maximise the solar radiation income in winter and minimise it in summer. Uh, the home is net zero energy, which means we produce more energy than we consume in the home. One of the key features to the retrofit of our house is two completely finished pods. So these are the laundry pod and the bathroom pod. The laundry pod contains a lot of the technological equipment for the home. The interior design's based on our Aussie lifestyles. We've gone with a lot of neutral tones and we've brought a lot of plant life inside and we've offered a lot of outdoor living areas where you can go and you can live in the summer and take advantage of our Australian lifestyle and culture. We've gone with a lot of furniture that can be easily moved. All the styles are based on 1960s, 1970s styles and we've bought them and taken them and sanded them back and recycled them, popped them into our house. So the thermal wall is a big addition of this house. In terms of the interior, it's such a lovely warm colour and it warms up this whole living area. The window adjacent to that is designed such that in winter the sun's energy can come and directly hit that wall heating it up. But in summer, because the sun angle changes, the sun doesn't come in that window at all. We've also got one main bedroom and one spare bedroom. And then your main bedroom, we've actually popped on a pod on the end and that acts as your wardrobe and it just gives you a lot more space. And then in the second bedroom, we've, we've actually popped in a ottoman and it's a fold-out bed and that ottoman folds up and it's a day bed, a lovely place to read. Plant-wise, we've tried to use a lot of Australian native species, a lot of drought-resistant species. They basically won't need watering. We've also tried to incorporate a urban food production through the green walls, aquaponic system and the composting. There's two green walls, one on the, the north and south deck. They're constructed from recycled timber. They allow a low maintenance gardening space, minimal watering. They have a cascading water system, so you just water the top and it, and it flows down through the boxes. Our home shows how retrofitting can become reality. The Illawarra Flame is both beautiful and functional, but most importantly something that people would truly love to live in. We believe this is the home for the future.